Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking through the Elliott Wave count that I am trading right now on the Bitcoin chart. This is a bullish Elliott Wave count and I'm expecting some higher prices to come. So with that said, let's go into this count. I want to talk you through the different sections of this and why I do believe we are looking for higher prices here. OK, so if you're in the group, you will know that right now I am only in the long position. And uh, yeah, so I'm in no shorts, only in a long. And I want to talk you through this count. So as you will know, if you follow me on Twitter now, um, the original count idea was from 9200. So what happened at 9200? Why did I switch? Because I was originally bearish at the start of this period. OK, but why did I switch the bearish count slash distribution into what I thought was then reaccumulation and a bullish count for higher prices? It was partly to do with the technicals and partly to do with the psychological aspect of the market. So what happened at 9,200? Well, everybody turned very bearish at support. This was only one week ago, but at that support, there were so many shorts opening. We saw a lot of heavy shorts opening and we saw really nice bullish CVD divergences. So that divergence was massive. OK, so we saw really big divergences, bullish divergences. We were seeing a lot of people bearish and a lot of big shorts opening price not breaking down. For me, that is then new data, new information and a new reason to enter along. So for me, that was where this bullish count came along. OK, and now I will talk you through. The, so that was the psychological aspect. I don't like being <laughs> bearish when everybody else is bearish. That's why I turned bullish. And as upon that, obviously, when we broke 9,280, that's when it really broke the creek, which I'll talk you through all of this as well. But I want to focus here now on the Elliott Wave count. OK, on this chart, as you will see, um, there's a rule of alternation. So when I really spent some time on this, when we actually went sideways for, you know, over 80 days, what made me think that this was now a wave four? OK, really simply impulse, running flat, impulse, triangle. I'm expecting the impulse out of it. OK, so when we the rule of alternation is that wave two and four have to be different. OK, so here I believe that we put in a running flat. And so if I see a running flat in wave two, wave four, I know that as an alternation, we saw a fairly quick wave two with a fairly big price swings. So what do we expect on wave four? We expect a long drawn out correction. This could be something such as a WXY correction. Or, you know, there is a possibility I've gone through a few counts and you can definitely this, you know, this can be labeled as a WXY. So basically wave four, I'm going for more a WXY, but that's sideways drawn out consolidation because wave two was so quick. And in my opinion, a running flat. OK, so when you see the running flat in wave two here, when you then get, you know, the WXY and wave four drawn out correction. What was really nice about this, because the more that it draw, you know, the more that this went sideways for a long period of time, you saw everybody turning more and more and more bearish as the, as the pattern went along. OK, and as well as a lot of people leaving the market, getting bored and going away. So it was always primed for this. And as, as you all know, check, you know, you can go through all my recent YouTube videos. They've all been the short squeeze is going to be coming. I'm ready for the short squeeze. I'm expecting higher prices. So. You know, I've been very much prepared for this. I was one of the first to recognize that the short squeeze was about to come. And obviously, did that happen? Absolutely, it did. When you zoom in here, you will see how absolutely we got that short squeeze really, really, really quick. As you know, I was looking at 9280 for my point in line in the sand where it switches from bearish to bullish. And I'll show you that. OK, also done a tweet about this one of saying, um, obviously, first I was looking at distribution and a bearish count. But where was why did I start to then think? that this was more reaccumulation and obviously pushing up for higher prices. Um, what well, was after we broke 9280? OK, and as soon as we broke and held 9280, that was this massive creek that was then broken. OK, so I'll just show you this on the Elliott Wave chart. So, you know, I'm not going to go through the, th the theory so much. I just want to do it quickly. But basically you have this creek, OK, which is a resistance trend line. You break this and from there it obviously hasn't turned back down. So. You have the you have the reaccumulation schematic. You have a bullish Elliott wave count. You had the bullish CVD divergences at this low. You had the market turning really bearish at the low. Everything's coming together, isn't it? OK, and if you've been in, if you're in the group, you know, I've been long and, and bullish for a while now. But obviously, this is my latest update from today because I'm not going to upload this video today. As you know, we're on the 27th. I've already uploaded a YouTube video today, so I'll probably put this one on YouTube in, a, I don't know, a few days. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you this because you know, I'm in a long, only in the long. And um, so where are we where are we expecting price to go towards then? So if we come up to the daily, OK, as you'll see, in my perspective, we put in an A, B, C, which is that is for the W. And then I believe we put in a 535, a 535. And now I'm looking for a five to end here. So obviously a three, a three and then five out of this to put in another flat. 
okay and as you can see here for the final one two three wxy for the for the fifth okay so i am thinking that we're in the impulse wave to come up here where are my targets really between 10,700 sorry 11,700 let me get that right 11,700 sorry to really around 12,000 that is my personal target i'm looking for around that 12,000 region okay uh levels of interest uh, th th that, th those are my main <laughs> levels of interest if I'm honest I am expecting a nice impulse out of this can we go higher absolutely we can if we start to push higher I think you're going to be looking towards $17,000 if I'm honest okay but definitely I'm not you know before we even then start to think about those high prices I, I need to see the reaction off of, uh, off of that 10,000 you know Sorry, I keep on saying nearly the, the wrong number, 11,500 region. I want to see the reaction when we get up to there. Okay, I'm pretty confident that we get up that high. But uh, yeah, before I start to think about massively high levels, I need to see the reaction, obviously, at, you know, that 11,500, 12,000 level. Okay, um, and this is derived from Fibonacci. I got that. Okay, and as you can see inside of this flat structure, that's the A. B, C. Okay, for the B wave, obviously we had here the impulse up, which I believe ended in a truncation. That's why you got the truncation and a strong impulse out of it. Okay, so we had that really strong impulse in the A. Obviously, then another running flat B for the C. Okay, we had that falling wedge for the A, B, quick move down for the C, and now we're seeing the A. Okay, sorry, the one inside of the C. So this is where it gets a bit confusing. You saw the one, then you saw the running flat impulse W X Y for the impulse back up. So I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I really hope that has made sense. But nevertheless, um, it makes sense to me. That's the important thing. If you if you study Elliott Wave Theory, you'll also know that it makes sense. But I, I, I apologize if you don't understand Elliott Waves. But nevertheless, to make it really simple, I'm in a long position. I have no interest in shorting here. I'm expecting higher prices. I'm looking up next, if I'm honest, 11,500 to 12,000 region, okay? So that's the simplified version of what I'm saying. What was Confluence that made me really bullish here? Really simply, it was the fact that the stock market was holding up really well. If you if you also remember the group, you know I'm a really big stock market bull, and I have been a stock market bull for a very long time, and uh, gold also reaching, pushing up, pushing up, pushing up is being nice. I will show you those charts. So obviously the stock market, Okay, this was more locally. You can come down onto a lower term time frame. Stock market, ever since it really back tested that 2,950 9, points, it just, you know, that's where I've become really bullish and it has not slowed down at all. And also gold reaching its all time highs now. But this gold also with so much strength has just been bullish for Bitcoin, in my opinion. It's just, you know, I don't trade Bitcoin thinking of gold. I don't trade Bitcoin thinking of uh, the stock market necessarily. It's just confluence. OK, so it's just another aspect of my technical analysis that I can add in. And if I'm already bullish on Bitcoin, but then I see the stock market pushing, I then see gold pushing all time highs. It's just another reason to be bullish on Bitcoin. So I don't base my trades off of these charts, but I do refer to these charts because they are nice confluence. So, um, yeah, that's my perspective on the chart here. Obviously, this is what we have locally. Uh, you have that weekly level, which has been broken and back tested and held really nicely. So everything locally here, I mean, are really important reference levels. They're all being broken. They're all being back tested and they're all being held. So obviously, you've got that really crucial 9,800 support at the moment. So crucial 9,800 support. But I mean, I'm long and strong at the moment. I'm expecting these high prices. This is the log scale chart, by the way. OK, so this channel is taken off of the log scale. You already throw it on the normal scale, but on log scale, you're not quite through it. But I personally do believe that you are going to break out of this. And this is the thing. Does this become an X wave? OK, and we obviously head down or do we actually, um, you know, count this as a as a start of a new impulse? This is where I need to see the reactions off of this sort of 11,500 region to 12K. I'd really like to go into the chart. As you know, I like to the way that I trade is I, I trade off of the data that comes to me, just as when we were seeing the data down here of the bullish CVD divergences. You know, I like to see how the how, how the price reaches that level, the strength and the volume off of that level. That's nothing you can predict. Like no one can predict the volume. You just need to wait for the volume and then you make informed decisions off of that. So this is just a section that I want to add on to the video. As you can see, since I made that video, we have now had another impulse to the upside and we really have started this fifth wave. OK, and I believe we're currently in wave four of the fifth. As you can see on the lower term time frame, we are now building a sideways range here, which does look like a WXY type move. And uh, what I really like about this is the fact that we're building up open interest over my statistics. that I have I have a 78 percent win rate of this looking to trade this till the upside. So I fully believe that we're still going to impulse out of this sideways movement. 
and make another new high. And this is the this is the beauty of having statistics like this, and then just having the data of you know seeing these patterns time and time again. So I still believe we're going to impulse out with this. And this is just our for 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 another move to the upside here. So um, yeah, I'm basically still long, and have no reason to short this even yet. So <laughs> trading with the trend. I just want to add this in. I'll upload the video tomorrow, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Cheers. Yeah, that that was the video of today then. So I hope that you've enjoyed. Um, me talking you through discount, how my perspective is a bullish one and I'm expecting higher prices, how I originally, when I was first making discount, um, you know, thought that we would get this push up while I thought there was a short squeeze and then how that happened. Everything so far has gone as predicted. Um, I guess I will say this, if you want the real time updates, so if you want these sort of real time updates when I'm giving the, you know, how I'm trading, when I'm saying I'm in a, in a long, when I'm saying, uh, you know, exactly my thought process in real time, which is pretty valuable because I'm pretty I'm pretty on on point with Bitcoin a lot of the time. So if you want those real time updates, then uh, obviously this is for the Champions Group over at Chart Champions, where we you know more than happy if you want to learn the theory behind the trades and then also have the updates of how I'm trading. You know, you're more than welcome to come over um, because so far everything is going very 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 nicely. So um, yeah, there you go. That's the video update for today. Hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this and. Uh, Bamos Bitcoin. Let's push on. Let's get some higher prices. And uh, yeah, that's the Elliott Wave Camp. So I'll put this on YouTube in a few days. And uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Cheers, everybody. Have a brilliant day. Goodbye. Cheers.